Lads, what's going on, Gonfi? And today I'm going to bring you, as you can see from the title, a team of amazing moments. I mean, in this team, we've got the likes of amazing goals, amazing celebrations, some just skill, amazing skill moves, amazing everything amazing that you've seen on a football pitch. I've tried to get all the players together and put them in one team with annotations and links on the in the description so you can go and check each one of Everything I'm talking about, you can check them out. I know you lot enjoy these style videos, so I thought this one would be an amazing one to bring. I want to say a massive thanks to this guy you'll be seeing on the screen. Now he's won himself 50,000 on my team coins. Keep suggesting me these teams, you know. Keep slamming up, thumbs up the good ones that you see because it's helping me bring you more and more videos. And also, I want to say, make sure to check out FIFA Coin Trader. They look will be in the description. Coins are going super cheap at the moment, so, you know, jump over, grab yourself a bag while you can. But anyway, let's get into this team. And to start us off with for the amazing moment is one that I don't think you've all actually seen. It's Joe Hart against Man United. Basically, this guy runs. I'm not even sure what his 100 meter record would have been in that game. He sprints up the pitch and then somehow manages to sprint all the way back and save the ball from going in. It is absolutely crazy how fast Joe Hart actually is. I didn't know he was that quick. Make sure to click on the screen or go and check that link out in the description, man. It is crazy. It is just an amazing thing. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Make sure to check that out. Joe Hart, absolute legend. Set it back then. We have got... If I can remember in order, it is going to be... I, I, I'm, I always forget who, who, who to put there. So we got John O'Shea. And John O'Shea always seems to pop up in these teams. But this time, is for his performance in goals against Spurs a couple of years ago. I think it might have been back in 2007, back then. He actually played in goals for like 20 minutes. And he made like 5, 6, 6 saves. So... For a centre-back, you know, an outfield player to go in goals and make a few good saves. He even made the save where he runs out of his box one-on-one -on -one and somehow manages to get together. But it's amazing. <laughs> Click on him to go and check that out. Crazy, crazy moment. But at the same time, amazing tackers from John O'Shea. And then our second centre-back is going to be... This is a funny one. This is Vertonghen. When he was playing for Ajax, not sure if any of you have seen this. Do you know when they do like a drop ball situation and they say kick it back to the keeper? Well, it's like it's on like the halfway line... And Vertonghen kicks the ball back to the keeper, but lobs him. The keeper tries to actually save it as well. He actually just lobs him. It's an absolutely amazing goal. Obviously, he stood there like, shit, I didn't mean to do that. But the goal stands because even though it's a drop ball, it's up to you whether you want to kick it back to the keeper for sportsmanship or if you want to play on. And obviously, because he scores the goal, the goal goes down and counts. And Vertonghen just stood there like, what the fuck? It, it is funny, but at the same time, amazing. So click on that to check that out. Left back then, we have got... Black, 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 Abidal. Now, this is quite an emotional one for, for a lot of you Barcelona fans or Abidal fans. This guy went through a shit. He, this guy went through hell and back. He went through the, a load of shit, obviously, with uh, getting cancer. I'm not sure what, what, what the actual cancer was. But he went through all cancer and shit. You know, a lot of people would think his football career would have been over. But then you see him a couple of years later then back lifting. I'll put, a, I'll put the, uh, this is the clip I'm going to use. Lifting the, is it the Champions League Cup? Or the Super Cup, one of the cups, and Puyol lets him lift it up. And it's just amazing to see how a footballer can go through all that illness, you know, go through cancer, go through just a shit, shit time, and then bounce back to be lifting up a trophy and being in the first team. Amazing, amazing. Emotional stuff, but that is why I've put him there. We've then got... Bah, 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 bah. I'm sure I've shown you this one before in a different video, but um, this is one of the most amazing things I've seen on a football pitch ever and probably will ever see. These Turkish leagues and these these foreign leagues are just crazy and their fans are absolutely amazing. But this is one where he basically, they're, they're, he's walking out to the pitch and he cr controls the crowd just standing there. Like, so he, he goes, shh, and they all go quiet. Then he moves his hands up and they do something. Then he moves his hands down. But the, it's, he's like the orchestrator. It's crazy. The whole crowd and the, all the fans listen to him and it's just amazing to watch. So make sure to click on him. Go check that out because it is fucking amazing. CDM then we have got, it's going to be Grenier for his bicycle kick the other day. I'm not sure if any of you saw that. That was one of the that was one of the sickest bicycle kicks I've ever seen. The techers behind there, it was just, it was nuts. It was in the Champions League. Ball comes over to him out of nowhere. He just pulls off one crazy bicycle kick. Make sure to click on him and go and look at that because that is an amazing goal. Then we've got next to him, Teote for all. As much as I hate fucking saying this, you know, what an absolute bastard, but... Great player, nonetheless. I'm an Arsenal fan. We're 4-0 up against Newcastle last two seasons ago now. They only bring it back to, to come back 4-4, don't they? I could not believe it. I haven't seen anything like that in a long time. But Tioe was the guy who scored the fourth goal to get him back in. Alan Padre said it felt like a win. Most Newcastle fans would probably feel like it felt like a win. Amazing moment for Newcastle fans. Absolutely another just shit moment for us Arsenal fans. But 
That's why I've put him there. Set attack in mid then. We have got Ronaldinho. Now I could fill this guy's fucking position with with just... This guy's probably the most amazing player in this team for just the amount of shit that he does on a football pitch. What he can do. The amount of skills that he's made up. Just the person he is and the amount of things he's won. But I'm going to put on there some of the skills, some of his best skill moments. Because I think he's just mind-blowing. He's created so many football skills himself that other people use. But that's just nuts. He's created skills. Like the air panner that he does and stuff. It's just crazy. But I've, I'm going to put some, some of his best skills on there. So if, if you've got time, click on there and go and witness how just unbelievable Ronaldinho actually has been. We then got Ryan Giggs. Once again against Arsenal, but we all remember when we had the best defence probably in world football when it was like, I think it was like, was it like Tony Adams and shit back then? And we had Seaman in goals and he basically ran through the famous Arsenal defence and just slammed it past Seaman. Great goal, you know, got to take your hat off to Giggs. He's had an amazong career, still going strong at, I don't know how old he is nowadays. What a player and for that, I think he deserves to be in here for that amazing moment. Up front then we have got, da -da 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 -da, it's going to be Messi, obviously for breaking was it, ooh, who was that, I can't, was it, I can't even think who, who's, whose record he broke, I'm, this is a bad moment from me, but you lot know what I'm all about, he broke the record for scoring like, I think it was like 86 goals or something stupid like that, don't quote me on that if I'm wrong, that is absolutely retired from me, but he broke the record, I put on when he did break that record because it was an mo amazing moment in football and an amazing moment for Messi, you know, scored, he's probably joint best player in world football in my opinion, great player and deserves, he just deserves the Ballon d'Ors and all the trophies that he's won because he's just one of the best footballers we've ever seen. And then up front to complete the team for the most, one of, probably the most amazing moment I've ever witnessed in football. It is lovely cushion header. No, 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 not lovely cushion header. What the fuck am I on about? It's Balotelli. I go here. <laughs> Voice break. Yeah, but you all know that moment that I'm on about. The moment when Aguero won the league for Man City in the last kick of the game. I was sat there watching it. You know, Sky Sports had both screens on for you to see. The Man United game had ended. Man United had won the league unless somehow someone could pull something out in the last kick of the game. Aguero scores. It was just a beautiful moment for football. A bit of a shit moment for Man United fans. But I, I, as a neutral, I just thought it was absolutely just phenomenal and I loved it. But that is the team, lads. Make sure you've been clicking on each one of the players and clicking on the links in the description. Hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm going to go and play with these to see if they can give me any amazing moments. It'll be funny to see. But I'll be right back. He's got a full BPL team and then he just randomly slams some black centre back right back for no reason. What is the logic? Messi! Oh! Woo! That was close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, Joe. I, I, I'm telling you, that nowadays, the guy's so fucking caught up in these dandruff adverts that he doesn't focus on trying to save the ball. Mate, just save the ball. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Don't. Oh, my God. That is why Joe Hart's in this fucking team. What a save. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. It's Aguero. Woo, that boy, that boy hits a ball so hard I actually shit myself. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh, come on, Joe. You blonde, dandruff-looking motherfucker. Wow. But, 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 but. You can't stop me. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, come on. Oh, you've done done it now, boy. You've done done right here now, boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Ryan. Oh, that's a pen. Oh, that's a pen. Oh, Ronaldinho. Skill school, nigga. What? 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 Yeah. Yeah, EA. It, it, it never seeks. Let me just. Let me just see how close it... Nah, you can't call that. I just lost 2-0. I, I, I just absolutely demolished that guy and lost 2-0. Anyway, lads, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. I will speak to you next time. Peace.